You got and it. I'm gonna do it in Spanish, right? No, you can do it in English. I think English would be better. And then if they if they don't speak English, then we'll do it in Spanish. But okay, Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. Maybe somebody's gonna talk to us now after two weeks. Not a person. Okay. Radio Pasqua, Radio Pasqua. This is the sailing vessel Zingaro. Channel 16 over. Every language you have, one of them is bound to work. visibility here is crazy it looks as if it was only like two meters steep it's but like it really 60 is feet 20. down it's really pretty okay baby I'm gonna need you to drive and then I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off the back and just kind of hang and I'll tell you where I want the anchor we just dropped the hook um, there's definitely more boats than we've seen on uh, at our first look at, our, at first sight um, we're Five, six, seven, eight, nine with us. So we've got a bunch of neighbors, nice. Didn't expect that, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, James just, James just jumped in to make sure that the anchor is correctly set and uh, that the road is not gonna cut on any coral head. We were able to identify a patch of sand pretty clearly because the water is so clear. It, it looked as if it was only like 4 meters deep, but it's 20 meters deep. Um, so I can't wait to jump in myself, turn off these engines, and uh, explore Easter Island. Overall, I just stopped it like two seconds ago. It was 455 hours. Uh, the max speed was 12.6 knots, and our moving average was 5.6 knots. Um, this would have been a lot better had we had an autopilot. We would have gotten here probably four days sooner and our moving average would have been at least 6.5. There was a lot of days there where we were just smoking, even without an autopilot, we were, we were cruising. Navigationally speaking, we pinched it just a little too hard and got a little in front of the island. I kind of did that on purpose, that way the wind's coming from here and we're between the wind and the island so we're not having to beat back. But in retrospect, I should have I should have let it out a little bit more. We were about a hundred miles at the beginning. We were too worried about going south, even okay. though we read in several reports that um, the wind is gonna change and you are going to yeah. get do your southerly progress. I think we should get a wind generator or a towable hydro generator, but that's another that's for another day. Even with sunny days, the problem is we can't charge the batteries because the the um, sail is in the way. And, and the batteries are fucked too. 
and it looks like the batteries are, won't, won't hold more than like 60% charge now, so we're gonna have to replace those soon too. But overall, I'm very happy with the passage. I think it went well. Uh, no, no big, huge dramas. I got a lot of work done. I rebuilt the outside head. I, uh, I did some other stuff, I can't remember. <laughs> cool. 455 hours. I don't know how many days that is. You do the math. We've gotten a ton of messages on this thing. That's pretty neat. Brewer, he says congratulations. That last tack was a hard on and fast. Go forth and, and beer. Epic sail, guys. One for the captain's log. R&R &R hard, then sleep. R&R and R R R R rock and roll. Rest and relaxation. No, rock and roll. <laughs> Re rest and relaxation hard? Yeah, rest hard and then sleep. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, the Brewer's been, been giving us, thank you, dude. You've been giving us weather reports every two days. I, that's invaluable. I don't get really good weather on this thing, so appreciate that, buddy. Thanks, man. Brewer is one of our oldest patrons. There is a lot of boats here. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. seven, eight, nine, counting us. Wow, I did not expect to see nine sailboats here. That's crazy. All the dinghies are going to, from boat to boat here. We gotta get the dinghy in the water and we need to go meet our neighbors. That we happened. got a good spot. This is a great, great anchor spot. It's a, t it's a big, huge patch of sand. So the entire chain is in the sand and then it comes out maybe like 10 meters of chain is out and then it goes up to the road. I, I know of two boats that have lost their entire anchor and road. That's over $1,000 here. One of them got it back, but he had to dive it. It's pretty deep. It's like 55 feet where the anchor is, so it, we can get down there, but we're, we can't really do anything down there. By the time we get down there, we need to come back up. This will be good practice for free diving, baby. I can't wait to jump in. Yeah, go here. Go see the go see the bottom. It's, it's really pretty. There's not a lot of fish, but it's pretty. I'm surprised. How do you like the polarizing filter? Really nice. What you making? Hummus. James is getting good at making bread, that's for sure. And I'm getting pretty good at making hummus. We've got the real tahini thing going on. Sesame uh, cream, whatever. Let me see People again. know what tahini is? Yeah, I think so. And that's really important to make hummus, and this is the real shit. What I was going to tell you, though, is um, you remember how we left Ecuador and um, we had this whole big list of things that we had to do before we were able to leave. And uh, we ticked off every single item on that list. And now that we anchored, half an hour after anchoring here on Easter Island, we're starting a new list of things that we need to do, need to get, or need to make, or repair, or... You get the point, yeah? So first item being, guess? Autopilot parts. Exactly. Um, so here we go. To do Easter Island before leaving, that is. Solar dryer, GPS, or buy a new adapter because our GPS thing is busted. Um, and so on and so on. It's gonna. I can think of 10 different things already right now without even trying. So it's gonna be a long list. But that's how it always is, so that's okay. That's it. So the anchor um, wrapped around a, some coral last night. When when we anchored, the wind was pretty strong, and I saw the catenary, and it was fine. And then the wind died. Boat moves forward, wrapped around a coral. So now instead of being anchored out here, we were anchored like halfway. We were anchored right next to this boat. So we pulled some line in, and thought we were fine, but. I just pulled a bunch of line in and it's, it's, it's chafing on the coral, so I'm just going to um, see if I can go unwrap it. But it's, we're in 60 feet of water, so I don't know. Let's see. So we just re-anchored if you want to have a look around. We're on the other side of the anchorage right now. We celebrated yesterday a little 
had no had no chance to go ashore because the migration didn't show up yet and um, we're waiting for the migration again we just called again they completely forgot about us and hopefully they're gonna come soon so that we can see the island today for the first time drink some beer upload the new episode let's hope the internet is fast enough to upload it today still maybe we'll have to spend eight hours in an internet cafe wouldn't be the first time Maybe they have some good food and beer there, I bet so I wouldn't be, care. I bet it's gonna be more than eight hours. You think? It's gonna be an all day thing, probably. Yeah. Okay, well, let's hope not. But the good thing is we have two episodes ready. We wanted to have five ready, but we have two ready, so we can upload them simultaneously. 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 No, <laughs> you're completely That's shitting. how you pronounce it. It's, it, it, it's written so. simultaneously, but it's pronounced simul. Simultaneously. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we, we have two episodes ready, so we can upload them simultan <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> simultaneously. Simultaneously. He definitely has one or two adventures. Definitely had a couple, huh? Mm -hmm. This bottom piece of wood cracked right here because the motor was too too much force for it. So right there is where it cracked. I'm not sure you can see. Right here. That's where it cracked, yeah. This will go here. I'll get another piece of wood to go here. And I'll get some fiberglass for here, and another thing for here, and then these things I'm gonna redo. I put more holes in them. It only had two, but now it's gonna have four. Two for here, two for here, and then everything is gonna be held together really well. Because that's what happened. This this thing just started coming apart, mm -hmm. and then it just just too loose and it cracked. It. What just happened? Immigration and health and um, customs just came in and uh, they were really nice. But they took all our lime and uh, oranges, the ginger and uh, what is it called? Garlic that we have left. So everything. Um, now we have nothing. Now we don't have anything to eat. But we are allowed to enter the island, so that's a good trade off for me. Yeah. They have pineapples and mangoes and beer and all that stuff. So, Let's fuck go. garlic. James repaired the dinghy. The silicon is not dry yet, the 5200. And um, we want to go in. The people from the health that came on the boat took all our food. I'm hungry. I want to go in right now. But there's nobody to take us in, it seems like it. Six o'clock, babe. Oh boy. Do not fuck with her. The only thing we have left to eat is cookies. I'm sick of cookies. James obviously doesn't care about my state of mental health and overall well-being. He's got the internet now and is just chatting with random people instead of engaging in a face-to-face -face conversation. <laughs>